I deployed to Afghanistan a total of six times. We did patrols in Fallujah. We did patrols in Ramadi. Well, There's probably about 20 of us that are real close, and in that group, uh, two, two people have committed suicide, and they just couldn't deal with what they came home and had to you know, fight with. Coming back home was very difficult. The insomnia, the, the night terrors. In a moment when I would feel happy, I would sort of stop myself, you know. Oh yeah, and be like, you failed, you failed big time and allowing these people to die, you know. Maybe you shouldn't allow yourself to feel happy in this moment. The sights, the smells, the fears, the guilt over the buddies that didn't come home. Those are things that are best talked about with other vets. You know, we need some more. We ought to have at least... I'm Dr. Al Brewster, one of the founders of Southern Maryland Battle Buddies. I'm a member here at Trinity United Methodist Church and a licensed clinical social worker. I've been interested in post-traumatic stress disorder since my days in Vietnam. Disabled American veterans at DAV. We have seven trained battle buddies. I'm not training people to be counselors, but I am training them to and encourage so to walk the walk, to help get people to the, appointments the if they need to. The uh, veterans at the library. I'm working mm -hmm. with it's another female team. veteran. Mm -hmm. Her counselor referred her to Battle Buddies, and that's how we got connected. I'm Ariana Day, and I'm a volunteer. I myself personally have come from three generations of family who've served in the military. This was the closest way for me to serve the country in, in following in my father's footsteps. This is my mansion, my home. My name is Robert Jenkins. I'm a Vietnam veteran. I'm a Purple Heart veteran. Just before I got here, I was in a homeless shelter. Property insurance. In Gil case. and battle buddies. And they helped me get my place of my home. You do have a counselor there, right? Yes, I do. Robert and I serve in Vietnam together. You develop friendships in, in combat, Dad are really, really close. We, are, we depend on each other to keep us al each other alive. We want to have a program that is vet to vet because we understand each other, because we, we know each other's needs. We have the drop-in center here at, at Trinity, anywhere from 13 to 30 percent of our veterans coming back are going to have PTSD. The Veterans Administration has hospitals throughout the country usually in urban areas, yet the fact is that over 40% of military people come from small rural demographics. How are you? This is one way that we can be salt and light and really extend the ministry of the church out into the wider community in very practical ways. We're trying to gear up for what we know is coming. As these wars wind down, these guys and gals that are coming home, they need to know that, hey, other people have been there, done that, and somehow managed to be okay and even be happy. <laughs>